Welcome to the show. We've got a great show today. It has been quite a while since I did a Tool Review Tuesday or Tools Day Tuesday. And today is going to be, let's just say it's going to be a very different type of tool review than what you've probably seen in the past. At least certainly different from any typical tool review that you would see on a channel that generally has to do with DIY projects, metalwork, forging, blacksmithing, bladesmithing, etc. Today, I'll be reviewing a hairdryer. Now again, I realize that's probably not the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of, say, blacksmithing or knife making, but don't judge me just yet, and before you click away from this video, let me explain. When I first got into forging about a year and a half ago, I pretty much had no idea what I was doing. But I started out probably like a lot of people do, and I built a pretty simple forge that would take charcoal or wood scraps. And I knew I would need something to provide forced air for that. So the first thing I did was I asked my wife if she had a blow dryer. And as it turns out, my wife did not have a blow dryer. So I had to go to Walmart and pick one up. And the one I found that fit my budget was this Conair 1875. Now, don't ask me what the numbers stand for, but this is the blow dryer I bought, and I can tell you that I'm glad I did. Because, although I only paid about $12 for it, it has lasted the entire time I've been forging, and I have done probably over 100 projects where I used this exact blow dryer. And maybe 100 projects doesn't sound like a lot, but when you consider that this dryer is going to be running for anywhere from probably 45 minutes to an hour, and in some cases a lot longer than that, I would say it has definitely lived up to my expectations and surpassed them. The other thing to understand is that this dryer has had to sit in my little 12 by 12 shop and put up with all the dust and sparks and metal fragments and everything that are flying around in there when I do virtually any kind of a project. And as you can see, just looking at it, there are obviously a lot of different marks in it. There's some marks where, you know, I either touched it with some hot metal and melted it, or, you know, I've probably dropped this thing at least a couple of dozen times onto a concrete floor. I've used it indoors, I've used it outdoors, I've laid it right down in the dirt and used it in the dust. So at times it's been sitting just inches away from a you know, 17, 18, 1900 degree forge. As you can see, I have a bunch of tape wrapped around it. That is to hold down the button that disengages the, the heating unit inside. Uh, at times that tape has loosened up and so that heating element has been going. At times I didn't even realize it. So I had to rewrap it and make sure that that button was depressed. Uh, it has, basically it has three settings. It's high, low, and off. I've used the high setting, I've used the low setting. I've never had any trouble with any of the switches going bad. Uh, the cord has held up fine. I'm sure the, the power cord on this thing was probably not meant to be subjected to heat in, in excess of you know, 200, 300 degrees, uh, but undoubtedly at different times that has happened. I can't even begin to tell you how much abuse this thing has gone through in the last, we'll call it a year and four or five months, and it just keeps going. So with that kind of longevity, that kind of durability, the ability to operate in cold temperatures, warm temperatures, in dusty air, uh, you know, the ability to get just like filled up with sawdust, metal shavings, sparks, whatever. The ability to take all of that abuse and keep functioning as if it was brand new. The obvious question is how much would you pay for a tool of this quality? I paid $12 for this Conair blow dryer. I really don't think you're going to find a cheaper model, at least not significantly cheaper than 12 bucks. Now, as you've undoubtedly noticed, I've been rolling in a lot of B-roll of me actually using the dryer to supply air to my forge. And again, this is the only air supply that I've used for about the last year and a, well, close to a year and a half. So now I'm going to roll in a little bit of footage, and really this is just a small sample of the projects I've done, the tools and knives and hatchets and things that I've forged and created that I would not have been able to do if it was not for this blow dryer. Now, of course, I could have bought a different blow dryer, and for all I know, it might have held up just as well. And I absolutely will not pretend to be an expert on hair dryers, blow dryers, whatever. But what I can tell you is that for $12, I couldn't imagine making a better investment than the one I made here. And that includes my $15 anvil that I got an awful lot of miles out of as well. But this has been an absolutely indispensable tool in my shop. And I would say for anybody starting out in blacksmithing, especially if you're starting out on a budget, you would do very well to pick up a blow dryer like this one and honestly expect to get many, many good hours of use out of it. Well, that's about all I have time for today. I just wanted to, you know, I've reviewed or discussed a lot of different tools and I just thought I should give some love to my classic $12 Conair blow dryer. 
So thanks for watching. At the end of the video here, I'm going to have a link to a video that will actually show you how to use basically nothing but this blow dryer and a few other very simple tools to construct a basic forge that if you wanted to could actually get you working today and you could be forging in your own backyard. So I'll link that video here at the end. And if you're looking for an opportunity to support the channel, I did recently start a Patreon account, so I will link to that at the end here too. And uh, I guess with that, I'll just say if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And whoever you are, whatever you're doing, have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.